The following secret recordings are the property of me, Mayor Woody Woodson, and are for the express use of me, Mayor Woody Woodson, or my future autobiographers. Psst. Psst. Hey, you. Me? You Woody Woodson. Guilty as charged, my mysterious black-suited friend. Don't look at me. Okay. Why are you wearing dark sunglasses? We can't talk here. Talk about what? Don't look at me. Follow me. How can I follow you if I can't look at you? Stop looking at me! Can we talk here? Uh... Nope. Can't talk. Uh. Here? Yep. Here's good. Oh, oh, God, you are quick. I barely made it up that hill. Nope, can't talk. Oh, for Christ's sake, here? Yep, this'll do. Oh. Put these dark glasses on. Why? Because you keep looking at me. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick and fast and plain and clear. You, the adorably nondescript small town mayor Woody Woodson, have no established history of leadership, have no confirmable views on record, and have been in office for a very short time. Is this correct? Well, I, I give it a slightly different spin, Look, but... Look, my 11-year-old daughter gets more Google hits than you, Woodson. You're a nobody. I presume you follow state politics? State politics is in the whole state? Well, I, um... Bumbly small-town charm. Good. Keep that, Woody. I'm gonna make this quick and fast and plain and clear. You've been plucked from small-town obscurity and officially shortlisted. Short-listed. You're being vetted for a possible opening for the number two spot in the state, serving just below the governor. Me? Vetted for vice governor? Bumbly and folksy. Keep that. But no, folksy McTiny Town. It's called Lieutenant Governor. So you've been following my burgeoning career all the way from the state capitol? Sure. We'll go with that. Wait. So if you pick me and the governor dies... You'll be solely responsible for the health and well-being of the entire state's citizenry. Yes. Any more questions? I, uh... Good. Meet me at the abandoned string depot in exactly one hour. Tell no one or the deal's off. And take off those sunglasses. You look like an idiot. <laughs> Miss Bonnie, Miss Bonnie, the Washington Post website too. Oh, and the Associated Press. Wow, Daltonville's name on the most hallowed ground of cyberspace. Mayor Dalton would have been proud. I know I am interloper in town, but I too feel like Dalton Villian today. Don't push it, Rasputin. Hello, ladies. What an uh, uneventful afternoon, huh? I'm just getting my briefcase and uh, my... Lucky pen to leave here for no specific reason at all. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, Daltonville is all over newspapers. Really? Sorry, gotta run. Really? You haven't heard about the Lieutenant Governor thing? Lieutenant Governor thing? No, I know nothing about a thing, no thing. Why, w what about it? Slimeball resigned from office for a big scandal. FBI catch him on audio taping. You know, even though I am Todd Jones, the current lieutenant governor, I still love having crazy cocaine-fueled sex with underage hookers like you. Where are you from, doll? A small town near Daltonville. <laughs> oh, I hate small town America. Small towns are so damn small. Now give me a latte and an arugula salad, then scram! Daltonville now famous. Town website gets 73 unique visitors and then go crash. Small towns across the state are pretty pissed. Those jokers in the state house better find some schmo with small town credibility to replace that guy, or they'll be screwed come November. Or they need to pick an independent-minded maverick like me! Or like somebody! Um, Ivanka, can I speak to you privately for a moment? <gasps> we share a secret, no? My lips, Fort Knox. Ivanka, I have to disappear for a few hours. Can you cover for me? If you'll need, Mr. Mayor. I fake your suicide, and no one even look for you for weeks. I need only blood and hair samples. No! Oh, now I need only blood. No, 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 I won't be gone long. I can't tell you why, though. It's big. Ooh, potentially really, really big. But it is a total secret. Mayor Woodson, Mayor Woodson, Haley Banks, reporter for the Daltonville Middle School, Daltonville Daily Down. Haley, please leave your bike outside. Mayor Woodson, rumor has it you are being secretly vetted for possible appointment to the state's sudden opening for Liege. Me vetted? What? Liege? Yes, Liege. LG as in Lieutenant Governor. Like Veep, but hipper. I've got an online petition demanding Miriam Webster add Liege in its next edition. Oh, Haley, what an overactive imagination. Where do you get this stuff? My source has noted a mysterious black car on the outskirts of town, and I match the vehicular ID to the gubernatorial fleet. 
Then, tailing on my bicycle, I spotted a woman in black enter Sidcar wearing shoes muddied by a strange soil. The very same soil on your shoes right now, Mayor Woodson! So you just pulled this stuff out of your little pigtails then? Yes or no, Mayor Woodson. The truth waits for no mortal. Haley, let's think this through, shall we? What kind of idiot would appoint someone so blatantly untested for the number two slot? I mean, wouldn't that look desperate and uh, cynical? Okay, I relent, but only because you make a patently cogent argument. Good day, all, for now. So you should be at school, no? Ivanka, hold down the fort, and Bonnie, hold my call! There won't be any. Thank you, Bonnie! Whatever. Okay, Mr. Woodson. Yes, no answers, please. You ready? This place is creepy and echoey. Hello! Mr. Woodson. Uh, let the vetting begin! Here we go. Have you ever paid someone for sex? Mm, no. No. Ever paid to watch someone have sex? No. Ever watch someone pay to have sex? No. Ever have sex while watching pay-per-view? Uh, uh... Huh. You know, this is all pretty dull stuff. Book banning, kids out of wedlock, revenge based firing some municipal employees, membership in radical secessionist movements. Ooh, what about drugs? I tried a doobie once, but I didn't inhale. I mean, uh, I tried to, but I have terrible asthma. We're just gonna go with no down the line. Congratulations, Mr. Woodson. You're fully vetted. A. Mm. So, n now what? Do I meet the governor for an interview? <laughs> oh, you're cute. Look, can I ask you something? I know that I am destined for greatness, and I'm at the dawn of a remarkable career. But you really aren't a bit worried the public might think I lack experience? Are we worried? Do we think you have enough experience? Listen to you. Such small-town folksy charm. I love it. Keep that up, Woodson. You slay me. And welcome, radio listeners across our great state. What a crazy day it's been. The big, big story coming out of the Capitol? Well, I'm sure you've already heard the most recent tape released by the FBI. Now, if I could just repeat the details so we're clear. I, current Lieutenant Governor Todd Jones, take this satchel filled with $95,000 and in return, you get complete access to dump chemical waste in the filthy small towns that litter our state? Moto Bene, current Lieutenant Governor Todd Jones. Perfect. Now, would some union worker pull around my Prius and get me a copy of the New York Times? Next up, a rebroadcast of a brog. Oh, how cute. That's a radio blog, filed by intrepid reporter Haley Banks of the Daltonville Middle School Daltonville Daily Download, where rumors and innuendo swirl about our potential new liege. Oh, by the way, liege means... Well, <laughs> I'm sure you've all signed the petition by now. I sit here with Daltonville Town founder Mama Dalton to ask if she's heard the rumors surrounding Woody Woodson. Heard them? I probably started them. You talking about the whole father to little African baby out of wedlock thing? Some of my best work. No. I speak of reports that our acting mayor might be appointed a mere heartbeat away from head of state. You're joking. Woody? An inexperienced fool. So you prefer he stay here and run against your great-grandson in Daltonville's mayoral race rather than move all the way to the state capitol? D did I say fool? I meant saint. And how dare you say that man's inexperienced. He's a mayor, for Christ's sake. Mayoral opponent, G. Garrett Dalton the third. Yo, yo, Woodman, this is little G. Yo, ain't no difference, aye, between running the free world and running a lemonade stand. So either way, that's executivistic experience. So look, if they's gonna let you do it, man, you grab it up by the short and curlies. So your name's Haley, right? Yo, yo, how old are you, sweet cheeks? Thirteen and a half. Yo, snap. Yeah, I'm out of here. Mayoral intern slash campaign manager, Ivanka. Mr. Mayor is a beacon of heavenly light shining for all the teeny peoples of the world. Woody for mayor! I mean, Liege. Wait, I, I record again, no? I demand to record again! Daltonville town clerk slash cat lover, Bonnie. This is by far the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay, time's up. Pencils down. You feeling good, Woodson? Uh, I'm still not sure what it is exactly a liege does every day. Just read it. Uh, okay, okay. Um, it's just a first draft. <clears throat> Woody Woodson believes in small-town America. Good. 
Start off with a vague, unimpeachable notion. And he believes in changing things, but only a little. Not so much that you'd really notice, but definitely enough that something's kind of sort of different. Okay, launch into the charming personal story. One time, at scout camp, everyone totally freaked when a cockroach came into the tent. But Woody Woodson came to the rescue, throwing his inhaler at the thing, killing it, and his inhaler broke. Really? Okay, uh, give me that. One time at survival skills wilderness training, Woody Woodson protected his fellow Americans by sacrificing his own health to root out and destroy the enemy where it lived. Wow, you're good. Not my first barbecue. Code four. All right, Woodson. It's go time. It's go time! It's go time! Mr. Mayor, so it is true about leadership. Uh, Ivanka, I can neither confirm nor deny reports of any such pending awesomeness. It is okay, Mr. Mayor. I will continue to pack your things in boxes. Your pencil sharpener, your emergency bottle of canola oil, your giant scissors for ribbon cuttings. Ivanka, you're crying. No, Mr. Mayor, I no cry. But please, if you do go away... Ivanka will wait for you, Mr. Mayor. I will wait for you. <coughs> it's go time. I, I thought it was already go time. Was Woody, it... Woody, a bunch of black cars all pulled up with a governor's seal on them. This whole thing is true. Man, sometimes life is stranger than fiction. There's security everywhere. Uh-oh, Haley's trying to ride through on her bike. Wow, so that's how you stop it. Ladies, please step out of the office. I'll hold your calls, Woody! Break legs, Mr. Mayor! Welcome, Mr. Governor. I hereby present to you, Woody Woodson. Your Excellency, it is an honor. No crap, this guy's name's Woody? You're crapping me, that's gold, Hanson. I mean, I asked for something folksy like Buddy or a Freddy, but really? I mean, <laughs> Woody? It's a nickname. Now, nah, Hanson, officially changed this guy's name to... <laughs> Woody. <laughs> really? That's gold. Gold! Where do I sign to make him liege? Next to the sticky, sir. Congratulations, Woody. Hand me that pen. You are about to become the lieutenant. Wait, wait, wait. Your, your highness, before you sign, what about the official interview? What? We need an interview? Come on, look, I got a 215 golf game. Okay. What do you want to know? Um, don't you want to hear about me? My plans? My policy proposals? <laughs> Listen. Woody. <laughs> God, I love that name. Now, I know it's pretty subtle political stuff to a guy like you, but I'm having a slight image problem with small-town America. I assume you heard the third FBI tape? <sighs> Damn FBI. No, even though I am Todd Jones, the current lieutenant governor, I still love having crazy cocaine-fueled sex with underage hookers like you. Oh, I, I thought they just re-released the first tape. <laughs> you didn't listen to the end? Crazy cocaine-fueled sex with underage hookers like you. So, are all you boys on the same lacrosse team? Sir, yes, sir. sir. From a small town upstate? God damn it. So, anyway, I just need to truck you out every so often, and you can be all Joe Schmo and small town and earthy and churchy and, well, you're not gay, are you? Well, regardless, uh, you'll be swell. Now, hand me that pen. Okay, okay I, I will, but only because there's more than just a small town thing, right? I mean, I may look green, but I am true blue. And if you die, sir, if you die... If, if I were going to die, Woody, I'd pick someone qualified. But I'm a former fighter pilot, fit as a fiddle, and my great-grandmother is 145 years old. I'm going nowhere, Woody. Now hand me that damn pen. Hand, hand me... Hand me... Eagle's down. I repeat, Eagle is down. Your supreme governorship. Here's the pen. Penny pen. Signy sign. sign. What happened? What? Oh, no. Not again. So what? We can't ever legally speak of this again. And according to the official story, the governor died while parachuting into Afghanistan. Instead of, you know, preparing to hand over the reins to Daltonville's acting mayor, Woody Woodson. But truth is... Did I really want all that? Yeah. But really, I mean, 
I still have unfinished business here in Daltonville, you know? Changes to make here at home, because all politics is local, especially mine. And first order of business is getting a new local throw rug to cover up that local blood stain in the carpet. Hmm. 